Hi everybody, Hyun here with a basic flash tutorial for you guys. This is gonna this is actually gonna be a series of tutorials um, teaching you all the basics that you need to know about Flash and how to animate in Flash. I've gotten tons of requests on how like what program I use and just how to use this program because it's really weird. So I'm just here to help you guys out and to teach you the basics and to get you on your feet. So let's get started with the actual program which is Macromedia Flash Professional 8. And this is, this is pretty much an old Flash program. Um, the newer ones are like Adobe Flash CS5 to CS6. But I, te I still like Flash 8 because it's a lot more simple. Uh, it doesn't use as much memory, so it crashes less. And and also, it's very easy to just download op like online for free. Um, which is the the other ones like CS6 or CX5 is a little bit more complicated to get. Uh, one tool that I recommend is getting a drawing tablet. Um, this makes it so you can draw more naturally and j just get more natural lines from when you're drawing. Um, you don't have to get it, but I recommend it because it makes it makes life a lot more easier when you're animating or drawing. Um, just some brands that I would recommend is just getting like a bamboo tablet or any Wacom tablet. Um, you can get you can get cheaper tablets just as long as it has a pressure sensitivity feature. It should say on the box if it does. So yeah, anyone will work fine. So now that we got that out of the way, let's get into the program. Uh, when you open Flash, you're just going to see this window and you're just going to pick Flash Document. And you're going to see a bunch of confusing windows and tools and that stuff, but it's not that bad uh, once you break it down. Let's start with the tools. The tools are pretty simple. Um, if you've used Photoshop or anything like that, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the main tool that I use is the brush tool. Um, this is this is the uh, the main tool that I use to draw anything um, when it comes to stick figures or just you know like regular drawings. And then there is the um, the basic selection tool, this black arrow, and you can select any brush stroke and you can actually move it around because uh, Flash is a vector-based program. It's not like Photoshop that uses pixels. So these are actual lines, and it, if you zoom in, it doesn't get all pixely. It's these are lines that you can move around. You can even grab this and just like move these around. So it's really weird if you're not used to that kind of concept, but it's just something that you need to get used to. So yeah, you can select these, and you can pretty much detach brush strokes um, based on the selection. And um, if we go up to this tool, this is the free transform tool. So if you click that, it'll s whatever selection that you had, it'll make a box around it with these little pegs. And you can use these pegs to transform, to squash, stretch, any selection that you have. Um, if you grab the edges here with these two arrows pop up, then you can skew the drawing to um, however you want it. And this is really important in the future when you're animating. So just remember that you can skew, squash, stretch, make bigger. If you hold shift, you can keep it in proportion. And just play around with these transformation settings. You can even rotate it. Okay. Alright, so let's cover some of the shapes and the line tools. Here we have the line tool. We're going to make some lines here. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, let's use this, the rectangle tool. And finally, let's use the oval tool. Okay. So these are pretty similar um, in the way you would move these. Um, you can select the edges of these uh, lines or the the points of these lines and move them around you can grab the edge of it and drag it 
to make little curves and then you can hold alt click drag to make more points or joints for these lines All right and then you can move these around so it's very flexible uh, what you can do with lines and the same thing applies to shapes too you can grab the corners to move these shapes around make whatever you want you can grab the edge to curve it and also you can hold alt click to make more corners and points same with the circle too the circle is kind of weird I, I usually don't morph morph the circle around but you you have the option too and plus uh, for the circle and the rectangle tool it always comes with an outline so if you click just the middle and pull it out you'll notice that it comes with an outline these are basically just like these lines so um, to just just to um, let you know of how flash works how the shapes work um, there's these two boxes one, the top one is the stroke color which is basically the the back what was it the outline color and then the fill color which is the the inside part so if I did this we'll have a, a black circle I mean a black square with a red outline right so that comes with that so if you don't want to put an outline you can just click this and then click the no color option and then you'll just have um, black shapes without it. so I tend to use shapes a lot when uh, making objects like weapons um, like say if you wanted to make a sword you can just make a s you can really quickly do it you can make a square here hold alt wait whoops hold alt and then make pull this out for a point and then make another square for the for that right so it's really really flexible tool and then you can you can add more points to it if you want and you can basically just make any any object that you want with this with just starting off with a rectangle and um, I think that's about it the eraser tool is pretty self-explanatory and yada 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 okay um, if I I'm gonna give you homework and just tell you to play around with every single one of these tools and just to see how they work um, and another very important thing that I wanted to cover was uh, down here which is the uh, the properties window um, if you don't see properties just go to window properties properties okay and that should show up down here if you're using a later version of flash it's gonna be it's gonna show up like over here on the right side but it's it's basically the same thing so the properties um, if you have nothing selected you're just gonna see the general flash um, your movie settings so like the f the frames per second I usually keep it at 24 um, and then the stage size which is this white box uh, you can change this to however dimensions you want I use 800 by 450 because um, those are good YouTube dimensions if it's YouTube well okay and then the thing about the properties is um, these will change uh, depending on what you have selected so let's see, let's say I select the brush tool see how it changes this is the properties for the brush tool now so this is like the brush color right and then this is the smoothing which is basically like an auto smooth uh, system where it automatically smoothens out your line so if you have like a shaky hand then you can use a higher smoothing but it tends to sh uh, change um, your line a little bit so it depends on what you want this preference right so yeah I usually keep it down to 20 so I have good control over my brush and it's also pretty smooth yeah see it, like it changes so if for like the rectangle tool it tells you how thick you want the the stroke right if you want a smaller the line tool you can change the thickness of the line here so people actually animate 
with the line tool. Let's say if they're animating stick figures, they some people actually use the uh, the line tool to animate just using a thicker thicker line. Okay, so yeah, so the properties is really important. It it just depends on what you have selected. Okay, so in future tutorials, when I'm when I'm going down to the properties and like I'm changing this thing, but then you see but then you see this and you're going like, whoa, why is this different? Like how do I get to it? You just select the brush tool or whatever tool that I'm using and then it'll come up with the proper properties for that. Alrighty. So that is, I think that I'm going to stop it there. And the uh, next time we're going to talk about um, some useful panel, uh, some useful windows that I use like this color panel, how to use that. Um, like the align is useful too and the library which is really important and uh, if we have some time we'll go start this huge thing that's probably the most important when it comes to animating is the timeline this was really confusing to me when I first started so um, hopefully I'll be able to teach you guys in a simple way of how to use the timeline and flash in general alright okay Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in part two. Peace. Salut.